Hello and welcome to Retro Bike Subman. Today we're looking at a Suzuki GN125. As I always say with these bikes, um, really reliable, cheap to insure, cheap to tax. Uh, this one's a trade-in, so it's being sold as seen. It's going to be sold at a thousand euros, so it's going to be gone, gone quick, I would say, uh, once the advert goes up. The stopping, starting, running, driving, everything it should. And we'll run through the bike on the condition basis now. Front tire looks like it's uh, pretty new. Front mud guard. A uh, good condition, no weeping from the front fork seals either. Original front headlamp and uh, indicators. The left hand side of the bike now, engine area, you can see some signs of kind of uh, aging on it. And left hand side, si side stand and a main stand on it. Uh, left hand side of the tank again, some minor little scrapes that you'll, that you'll see throughout. And same the side panel, but all present and original. A little bit of a uh, tear in the seat on the left and the right hand side here we've covered up. And rear, the chain guard present and sprockets are good. Rear mud guard is good. Uh, bike from 2000. Uh, rear tire again, it's okay. Le or right hand side of the bike, uh, uh, shocks and the actual exhaust are in okay condition. A bit of, a bit of uh, marks at the end of the exhaust and uh, side panels here present again as well as the uh, tank which has some minor signs of surface scraping on the uh, right hand side underneath the suzuki sticker aging again on the um, engine and starter motor as you'll see everything else is all right and again for a thousand euros a nice working bike with um, tax paid on it for, till the 9th of this year so Go from now the visual analysis into the ride along. Okay, so now we're on to the GN125, and I can't even count how many of these I've done. Um, super great little bike, tax of the 921. Get on and start her and have a run around. I've done so many of these GNs or SR125s or similar. I mean, just look up and around. I mean, they're just so reliable and they just keep going i don't think i've ever seen one stop nice that you have a gear indicator light up here to say show what gear you're in um what should i say what should i say like i said this bike is going cheap super super cheap sold as seen it's a trade-in and we're just getting rid thousand euros to the lucky buyer um super super cheap out there you know we won't find anyone cheaper for this running stopping going and everything it's been looked over by us if I'd look over it, like I said, I'm driving it. I wouldn't drive it if I thought it was dangerous. So everything's lovely. Sold as seen. That means you come with your van and you take it away. So uh, we'll just be seeing this one go as fast as we can, I'd say. Uh, I know the last one we put up at uh, 1,500 quid, actually, uh, went within the week. So I can only imagine this one at, uh, you know, 500 euro, half of that price, nearly off. Um, will be uh, gone before it's even put up. Cash shale is uh, preferred if that is the preferred use of method of payment for you guys. We'd like to get a few beers on the weekend for ourselves for this one. But Suzuki GN125 gone over 100 million times. Oh, well, I didn't expect this car here. Double, double parking. Everything working on it. We'll go through lights and everything like that at the end. But as I said, if there's anything with indicators, anything like that, again, sold as seen. Come down, pick her up, take her away. She's all yours. We're in top gear now. Wind in her face, loving life. And we'll go into second gear now, turn around. But we'll go around here. All the lights on the dash working. Mirrors seem nice. No real vibrations or anything through them. Which is good to see, especially on a single cylinder, small capacity bike like this. These are super cheap to insure. Anyone can really get insured on these bikes. I've heard uh, really good stories about them running forever. We know one guy who has one has up, done up and over uh, 100,000 kilometers on his and no issues at all 
just had to change the oil and, and uh, oil filter, petrol and the perishables like the tires and brake pads as you would uh, as you would imagine. So coming up to our sit down point where we go through everything, put it into neutral, if I can not be a dummy, there, there we go. Oh. Let me go back into first and uh, come on, there we go, there. Now anyway, I saw the bike, that's not a first anyway in one of these videos, but uh, I'll just get her up and start it again. We'll go through the electrics, front left indicator, rear left indicator working, rear right indicator working, and front right indicator working, horn working as well, go through the lights, front bulb probably needs doing, or oh, actually uh, do I have the lights on, probably not actually, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't have the lights on. So the front bulb's actually okay. That's high beam and low beam coming on there. Lovely stuff. Everything working on it then. Every, absolutely everything. Going through the gears all nicely. Not an issue with her at all. So there's nothing to do to the bike. And uh, you're getting it for nothing. So let me get the camera out. Put it up. Take a picture. That's the thumbnail you guys be, 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 be uh, clicking on on the YouTube. Uh, but that's been it for this video, Honda or Suzuki GN125H. Um, if you have liked the video, please do leave a like. Also, comment down below on what you think of these GN125s. And finally, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to reach out to us on our socials, they are at Retrobike Southern for uh, Instagram and Facebook. And um, our official website is www.retrobikesdublin.com. That's, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.